priceless, and you just cannot replace it. Well, in this edition of Just Fix It, handyman Dale Cranston shows you how you can keep that trim looking good. We're putting in a new floor at this house over here, and we needed to take off some of these old moldings, but we wanted to put them back in, save the money. Molding is getting very expensive, so let me show you a couple of tricks. We go to take off this molding here, and this one's already been cut, but we always cut the paint seal. It might be paint or caulking with the razor knife. I always cut it, otherwise it'll peel off the drywall and the paint, and it can really cause a lot of damage. So if you use a razor knife to cut that seal right there, it'll really help in taking it off. And we use the finer type of a pry bar. You can get them out at the hardware store. Slip it back behind here and kind of work so you don't bang up the wall. And get these old moldings off. We want to try and preserve them so that we can use them again. Now, another thing that often happens is when we go to pound the nails out, because they've all got all the nails in them, and when we go to put it back in, we can't necessarily use the same nails. A lot of times, when we bang these nails out, it, it damages the wood even more than just the nail. You can see here, it's made an, even a bigger hole. Some of them will break really big. Let's see how bad this one breaks. Those will come out. What we like to do when it starts to break through like this, causes more damage to the face of the molding, is when we have finished nails, we simply pull them through from the back. And to me, it sounds so simple, but it's really a good trick to know. We use a good pair of vice grips like this that has this little roll on the back. We grip it down near the bottom of the nail, as close as we can get to the wood, so you can kind of rock it back. So you don't have to use much strength, just rock it back, and it pulls that nail right out of there. Because you'll need to extract all these nails, then when you simply go back, you can use the same hole or you can do a hole real close to it and repatch real close and can really help and save these old moldings. If you have any chips or breaks on them too, you might save the little piece and tape it onto the molding. You can always glue it back on. So this is a good tip on how to preserve because some homes have really large moldings in it that can't be duplicated and you really not need to harvest that molding and protect it for future use. So keep these tips in mind when you're doing the remodeling and you're going to put back moldings that you've already had in your house. They'll really save you a lot of money. For the News Beat Saturday, I'm Dale Cranston. If you've got questions for the handyman, you can write them right here at our WDIV studios. The address right there on your screen, 550 West Lafayette, Detroit, 48226. And he'll help you answer those questions. And if he does answer your question on the air, you get this the Just Fix It t-shirt, which, uh, which people are dying to get their hands on. They and, really uh, are. You get it by having them answer your question. And, uh, 